Sausage Egg and Cheese Sandwich. Choose two for $6. Jack's, all about the South. Take the winter drives over to Big Daddy's Dover's Outdoors. You'd be glad you did. You know, here on this show, so often we have a chance to talk with local business owners and nonprofits who very much put their faith at the forefront. That's going to be our conversation again this morning because the Scenic City Women's Network, which is a faith-based organization, is gearing up once again for their praise breakfast. And this year, they are bringing in a very well-known name and talent and person of heart, Louise Mandrell, who's gonna be uh, spearheading the event on April 7th. And she joins us this morning from her home. Nice to talk to you this morning. Thank you. Good morning. You know, I think we're all kind of having a bit of a flashback and talking to you today because I'm kind of going back in time to uh, the days of your TV show with your sisters and how much fun it was to watch. And even then, I remember that it was very obvious to watch the three of you and know that your faith was instrumental in your life. Well, actually, and we don't talk about it a lot, but I started lately telling on my sister Barbara, the first week of rehearsals, NBC sent a message to us that they liked the script, but they wanted us to take the gospel music out. And Barbara said, absolutely not. We have a contract with you for six weeks. After that, you can cancel us. Really? And the outcome was that they kept you? <laughs> well, the ratings were great, so they didn't care anymore. <laughs> Funny how things can go away. But so that makes you then the perfect one to come to this praise breakfast on April 7th because so often I'm gathering you've walked in your own journey a difficulty in honoring everyone but still staying true to who you are. And as business women here in Chattanooga, that's what they're encouraging people to do is to find that strength. Well, I've been very fortunate. I have two great sisters. I had a chance to work with both of them for so many years. And Barbara's always been my mentor, and she still is, big sister and mentor. So when you're here on April 7th, um, what are you looking forward to? I know tickets are going fast, and I have to tell you that you surprised me. I figured you would speak. I had no idea you were going to bring your fiddle and be prepared to perform. <laughs> Yes, I'm also going to sing uh, some of my favorite gospel tunes, and I am bringing my fiddle because uh, it's just what I'm known for, so I couldn't leave it at home. You know, I, I have to tell you, just as a talk woman to woman, and I'm sure you feel this a lot as you kind of look back over the years, uh, that there was a time, and when y'all were on your show, that women were not at the forefront of things. I, I remember it was a marked notice for me to recognize you and think, wow, look at them. That's a different view than I'm typically used to seeing. So now you see the same thing across the board for women in leadership positions and a chance to be influential. Do you ever look back over your journey and think, boy, we hit it at the right time? Well, my dad always said, anything a man can do, you can do if you have enough strength. And you know what? We had quite a bit of strength. My, my older sister got us started. She was 11. She was, she mastered the steel guitar at 11, was considered a product, child prodigy. And we all started playing instruments that other, well, women normally didn't play. I mean, normally you would see a woman playing piano or maybe an instrument in an orchestra or, but I was on bass guitar, my little sister on drums and it, it was just unusual. We were almost a novelty act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so throughout the course of these COVID, COVID years, I can't believe I'm saying that in plural, how much did you draw on your music to sustain you and how often did you go to your gospel music? Well, I like to listen to gospel music. It's, and I, of course, I grew up on country music. But the support system that I have in our family and and our faith that's what that's what always leads us forward and we can get through anything well i know that you want to leave the relaying of information about how people can get their tickets and that type of thing and reserve their tables to me you just know that you're going to be in town come rain or shine the morning of april 7th to have a chance to engage with our audience but is there anything that you're hoping people will take away when they come to meet you and hear from you that morning that they see the joy that I have in my life 
because I have a personal relationship with the Lord. And they can have that very same thing. Well, it is a privilege to talk to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm sure people will be eager to go on that website, which we will share so that they can get their tickets. Louise Mandrell, nice to see you. Thank you so much. So again, it's going to be April 7th. The doors are going to open at 630. The bre breakfast itself runs from 7 to 9 that morning at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Uh, you can always call 698 6262 to go ahead and get a ticket and a reservation. You also can go online to scwn.org. That's the Scenic City Women's Network.org. Thanks again, Louise. Thank you. I appreciate your help with the concert. Our towns have so much to offer, hidden treasures, unusual stories that make each of our communities unique. I'm John Martin and I love exploring our